Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've been meaning to do a video on this vintage circuit analysis software that I have. Uh, it's been in storage, uh, but I didn't have the ability uh, to get it on the computer because it's on five and a quarter inch floppies. Uh, I did recently purchase a floppy drive off of eBay and uh, was able to uh, get it on the computer. This company was actually started in the 80s, in 1980, at Spectrum Software. And it's pretty neat. Still pretty powerful. This is the five and a quarter inch floppies. One's a data diskette, has some libraries on it, and the other one's the program. This is 1984, 1985. Some of the uh, requirements here are pretty funny. I've got, um, <clears throat> let's see here. It's like a SPICE program, a simulation program with integrated circuit emphasis. Let's see, IBM PC, XT, or AT. At least 256K installed RAM. Gee, I don't know if I can meet those requirements. One disk drive, double-sided, double-density, DOS 1.1, 2.0, 2.1, or 3.0. High resolution monitor or an IBM monochrome display monitor. Nope, uh, IBM monochrome display monitor will not work. IBM color graphics adapter card or equivalent optional printer with a parallel printer interface. And it goes through the installation, or you can just go ahead and copy uh, everything on the diskette and. Um, Put it in a folder on, on your computer. It has a pretty good library here. Let's see what we have. 10 batteries, 150 resistors, 150 capacitors, 50 inductors, user sources, 1. Uh, switches 50, transmission lines 5, diodes 100, bipolar transistors 50, transformers 25, MOS devices 50, op amps 30, sinusoidal voltage sources 10, programmable voltage sources 6, polynomial sources 25. And uh, although the graphics are 80s, Vintage 80s, a little crude, but this still works. So you model a circuit and then you can uh, excite the circuit and look at the response to frequency analysis, transient analysis, DC analysis. frequency response here. Let's uh, go through one of these examples here. Just build this simple circuit here and uh, pulse it and take a look at the response, the different responses. So I think I forgot to mention that this program is called MicroCap2. So let's start it up. And we have this flashing cursor that's really flashing because it's probably because of the faster. This probably was written for like a 286. So let's place the cursor here in the middle. And we want to press E for enter. So we want to enter a component. So E, type of component. We want a voltage source, so V, enter, and then you select what direction you want this pointing at, up, down, right, left. We want it to the right. We want it up. So up, reflection, none, parameter, and we want it to be a pulse. 
and there's the component and the cursor is flashing at the node where you'll be attaching your next component so we want to press enter again and we want to put an inductor I N D for inductor and we want it to the right no reflection and it's going to be one micro Henry and there's the inductor I don't know if you can see that so now I have the inductor and we're going to add a capacitor so let's see enter E component cap enter the direction we want down no reflection parameter we want one nanofarad one nanofarad enter there's the capacitor now we need to put a short from the bottom of the capacitor over to the source so we type in S for short and we want that to go to the left and there's our short now we want to move the cur cursor to the top of the capacitor and we want to add another short and that's going to go to the right now we're going to enter a resistor so enter component res return we want it to go down no reflection parameter 50 ohms so just 5 zero enter now we want to put another short in so s to the left and we want to put it in, put our ground in right there where the flashing cursor is so enter a component ground g n d enter and we want it down and there's our ground so now we can analyze this circuit let's type A and we have the option of transient AC DC Fourier analysis so we'll do a transient analysis we'll type in 1 and there's some default settings here we'll accept them say yes and there we have our transient analysis we have our source that's pulsing the RLC circuit and here's the response at node 2 so this is the voltage response you can see here we have a little bit of ringing so it's pretty powerful software still so now we can run an AC analysis on the same circuit the circuits still in memory so let's see here um, quit or more let's see quit so if we press D, uh, I think it'll still, let's see, oh, yeah, draw. So the circuit's still there. And we want to analyze A. And we can do an AC analysis, so 2. We'll accept the default here. Yes. And there's our AC analysis. So we have gain versus frequency.
and we can do a DC analysis. So let's see three. Analyze. Let's see three. Yes, this is the DC analysis at a given temperature. So node 2 in volts versus node 1 in volts. It does Fourier analysis too, but I haven't been able to get it to work. It could be, I have some other files in the subfolder, so they might need to all be in the same folder. I haven't checked that out yet. But let's go back to the circuit here. Three and then draw. So this is just a demonstration of some vintage circuit analysis software that's still pretty powerful in my opinion. Hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching. Analyze.